Hello everyone, my name is Stephen Cook, a solution engineer at DocuSign. And today I'll be giving you an intro to 21 CFR Part 11 and how it fits with DocuSign. So let's start with the basics. What is a healthcare company? A healthcare company is a company that provides a service. There's some sort of human touch involved. Whereas a life sciences company is creating a product. Now, in the same way that when you have to get a cast or surgery, you don't go to see Bargain Bob at the Toyota dealership for surgery. You find a licensed doctor because you can trust them with your health. The FDA acts in the same way when it comes to products. They make sure the products are safe for people. So why does this exist? It's to help prevent things like Juul marketing their e-cigs as safer with no evidence, and to make sure that people know that drinking Clorox is not safe for you. It's here to make sure that you don't put harmful stuff in your body, and also make sure that no one's selling Clorox as a coronavirus vaccine. So where is this applicable? products that put human health or life at risk. Now, here's the full list of regulated products, but there are products that more directly impact people's health. If I make an inhaler or an EpiPen that doesn't work, that's a life or death scenario. Whereas if I make a piece of paper that's blue instead of white, no one dies. You'll see three very often at DocuSign. Biologics are or start from living organisms like vaccines, insulin, or blood products. Drugs are created chemically in a lab, like Adderall, Advil, or cholesterol medicine. Then you have medical devices, which are manufactured products, like N95 masks, blood glucose meters, or a hip replacement. The reason that companies care so much is there's a lot of things that the FDA can do, but the fines alone can destroy a business. The repercussions are huge, but there's a management issue with paper as well. This is a very similar room for all companies that fall under the regulation. There's a huge burden of storing and producing records for the FDA. So pharma companies sat down with the FDA and they said, how can we store things digitally? So that these rooms can look a little more like this. With documents moving digitally, they also started working with them to find out, how can I sign electronically as well? And here's what the FDA came up with. Pretty extensive. Now. It is pretty complicated with a lot of sections and ways to interpret what the FDA wants. So DocuSign gives them the tools to make it easier and less daunting. We turn all of this into this. We give our customers a pre-packaged, pre-configured account so that they never have to worry about accidentally turning something off to break compliance or sending a document out in a non-compliant way, which to our customers means they're not going to get any fines. So let's talk about the differences between a standard DocuSign account and a regulated one. The first is it starts with the user logging into their account anytime they access a document, as well as sign documents. The next main difference is when they're actually signing, we're forcing them to say why are they signing the document rather than just placing a signature. Lastly, is there some extra pieces of information that the FDA wanted visible anywhere someone signs. Now I'll walk you through a side-by-side -side comparison of a standard DocuSign envelope and a Part 11 cent envelope. For the Part 11 cent envelope on the right, here we can see the user has to type in their email and password in order to access the document. Next, when they click to sign, a window pops up asking them why they're signing the document as well. Once they choose the reason, it's forcing them to authenticate once more in order to actually place the signature on the document. Lastly, we can see the signature manifestation is a little different, including some extra pieces of information as well. Just remember that the signature tag is pre-packaged so that the signer is prompted to include a signing reason, authenticate themselves, and the signature manifestation to include some extra information. 